August the 15th, 1947, Independence Day for India. I was in tanks for a long time, you see. And uh, they rock and roll quite a bit. <laughs> and now Rudolf Hess is in Britain. In a Messerschmitt, he flew from Bavaria straight to Scotland, landing by parachute near Glasgow. For England's second match against the West Indies. And the rain still comes, pitter patter down. Across the great divide between the English and French coastlines, where the channel broadens out, Britain struck at the German-occupied port of Dieppe. Marked the annual tribute which took place in Dublin to the memory of Ireland's dead leaders, General Michael Collins. From the great steel city of Stalingrad, ghastly now in its smoking heaps of shell and bomb-battered rubble, has emerged the most stupendous story of human courage and endurance. The Grand Prix d'Europe in Belgium, fourth of the events which count towards the World Championship, and British cars won the first three. George and Paul, and of course Ringo and John, were safe at last. And here with the Beatles was Brian Epstein, their famous manager. Crowds of motorcycle enthusiasts gather to watch 67 crack riders compete in the Manx Junior Grand Prix. And there's the first away.